Good morning. It is so good to be with you and to continue to talk about David. We have reached almost the end of our time together talking about David and we've seen him from the very beginning when he was a shepherd and willing to completely trust in God. Then as a soldier who was willing to let God fight his battles against the enemy. And then as a friend who wanted to love his friends just like God loved him. And then we saw him as a king who made some really bad mistakes. But even in the midst of that ugly time, David goes to God and asks for forgiveness and then receives God's love and mercy. And in all of this, we see that David is called a man after God's own heart, a man who had a heart like God. And so we've been asking ourselves, what about David makes him a man after God's own heart? What can we learn from David? And I think today, looking at David as a worshiper, as someone who worships God, really boils down all of our answers into one big idea. David is a man after God's own heart because no matter what was going on, David was worshiping God. That's what we're going to talk about today. But before we do, pray with me. God, I pray that you send the spirit into our homes today and you bring new life inside of us and you, you call out worship from our lips, God. Help us to lift our hands to you and sing praises just like David did from when he was a shepherd to when he was a soldier and the times that he was a friend and even when he was a king making really big mistakes, God. Help us to be like David in all of those instances, always turning to you to worship you. We pray this in your son's name. Amen. Let's jump into it. Jesus is listening, he hears the prayers of everyone, every daughter, every son, every nation, every tongue, every child, old and young, he hears the prayers of everyone. Jesus is listening, he knows the call of every voice, he loves to hear one rejoice when the sun is warm and bright in the middle of the night he knows the call of every voice he hears us when we shout it jesus he hears us when we whisper jesus he hears us when we only say it in our hearts he hears us when we only Jesus is listening, he likes to hear the things we say, he's free to talk to any day, when you're dreaming on a star, when you get a bruise or a scar, he likes to hear what's on our hearts, he hears us when we shout at When we only say it in our hearts he hears us when we only say it in our hearts he hears us when we only say it in our hearts he hears us when we only say it
The Good Shepherd David was a shepherd, but when God looked at him, he saw a king. Sure enough, when David grew up, that's just what he became. And David was a great king. He had a heart like God's heart, full of love. Now, that didn't mean he was perfect, because he did some terrible things. He even murdered a man. No, David made a big mess of his life, but God can take even the biggest mess and make it work in his plan. I need a new heart, Lord, David prayed, because mine is full of sin. Make me clean inside. God heard David's prayer. He forgave David, and he made David a promise. I will make you great, David, and one day a king will be born into your family, and he will heal the whole world. Did you know that David was a songwriter, too? In fact, his songs were so good, they might have been in the top 40 charts, if they had been invented then. David's songs are like prayers. They are called psalms, and this one is called the Song of the Shepherd. It's probably number one on the psalm charts. And it goes like this. God is my shepherd, and I am his little lamb. He feeds me. He guides me. He looks after me. I have everything I need. Inside, my heart is very quiet, as quiet as lying still in soft green grass, in a meadow by a little stream. Even when I walk through the dark, scary, lonely places, I won't be afraid because my shepherd knows where I am. He is here with me. He keeps me safe. He rescues me. He makes me strong and brave. He is getting wonderful things ready for me, especially for me. Everything I ever dreamed of. He fills my heart so full of happiness, I can't hold it all inside. Whenever I go, I know God's never stopping never giving up, unbreaking, always and forever. Love will go too. God gave David that song to sing to his people so they could know that he loved them and would always look after them like a shepherd loves his sheep. And one day, God was going to do something that would inspire thousands upon thousands of new songs. God was going to show his people once and for all just how much he loved them. Another shepherd was coming, a greater shepherd. He would be called the Great Shepherd. And this shepherd was going to lead all of God's lambs back to the place where they had always belonged, close to God's heart. As you just heard, David was a musician. He wrote and sang songs. And there was a whole book of the Bible called the Psalms, which are his songs to God. And the one thing that I want to point out today is that David wrote these songs throughout his entire life. And it's important for us to know that he wrote these songs when things were good and things were happy, when God was blessing him with stuff like being anointed king. But he also wrote these songs when things weren't so good, when he was afraid and being chased down by enemies and he was having to run away from them, protecting his own life. He also wrote these songs when he made big mistakes and those mistakes hurt a lot of people around him. He wrote these songs in both the happy times, the sad times. And I wanted to take a whole week to talk about David as a worshiper, because I think this is at the core of what it means to be a person after God's own heart. You see, God's not looking for a perfect person. God is looking for someone who will not stop pursuing him. And what do I mean by that? I mean that God is looking for someone who will sing to him at church in the hour that we get to spend together, but who will also sing to him 
while they're getting ready for school or before eating a meal or at night before letting sleep fall over you. God is looking for someone who will invite him to walk alongside throughout every part of your life. Because that's what David did. And what's incredible about David is that he invited God into his life even when things looked really, really bad. Because he knew that God was going to be there for him. That God loved him no matter what. And so, of anything that you learned from these past several weeks, I hope that you learn this. That God wants you above everything else to be a worshiper of him. God wants you to worship him in the good times and in the bad times. Sing out to him songs that celebrate him. Sing out to him songs that thank him. Sing out to him songs that are looking for him, that are sad about your circumstances. Sing out to him songs that are about your fears. Sing out to him in every way. Because at the end of the day, that's what God wants. That's what made David a man after God's own heart, is his willingness to call out to God no matter what was going on. So that's what I urge from you. I urge you to see God and to seek God, not just in the good times, but in all the times in between. so deep you jump right in just keep falling love so high all the stars can't comprehend love so so good being with you this week and it's been so good to talk to you about David over these last several weeks and I love that we're ending the story of David today talking about him as a worshiper and I hope that the one thing if you learned anything the one thing that you did learn was that all God wants is for you to worship him through everything in everything, because of everything going on in your life. Worship God. And next week, we're going to do something that helps us 
to worship him. We're going to sit together in prayer. We're going to let David help us do the talking next week as we go through one of the songs that he wrote as he worshiped God throughout his life. But before then, will you pray with me? God, I just want to take the time right now to worship you, to recognize you as the God above everything, to recognize you as the creator of everything, God. You are bigger than what we could even imagine. But you also love us and everything about us, including every hair on our head. And so we choose to put out our arms and open up our hands to worship you, God. To thank you. To call you the Almighty, the one and only. We pray this in your son's name. Amen. Can't wait to see you next week. And until then, love you and miss you.